so up to this point, when we go back and forth between the graph and the equation of the circle, we're always looking at the standard form or the center radius form that we have here on top. And that's nice because we can pick out the center and the radius directly from the equation. Notice if you were to foil that out, if you were to square out x minus h squared and square out y minus k squared and combine like terms, you'd get something that looks like this. This is called the general form of the equation of a circle. We're going to have to be able to go back and forth between these two forms of the equation of a circle. So let's talk about how to do that. We're going to write the equation of the circle x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 9. Okay, so what they're giving you is standard form and they're asking you for general form, which just means the multiplied out version of it. And let's talk about the um, pitfalls of multiplying this out because there are some common errors that people make that I don't want you to make on your test. Let's start with x minus 2 squared. It's x squared minus 4x plus 4. Foiling. So you can think of it as x minus 2 times x minus 2, right? So you would do x squared you would do um, outer and inner, so minus 2x, minus 2x, and then you would have your plus 4. Combining like terms, x squared minus 4x plus 4. There's also a faster way, which I would like you to try to get used to, because we need to recognize that there's a pattern here. Notice that we got the first term squared, the x, got squared. We got the last term squared. The negative 2 squared is positive 4. And if you multiply these two terms together, you get negative 2x. If you double that product, you get negative 4x. Twice their product in the middle. So there's a little rhyme that says square the first, square the last, multiply together, and double up fast. So let's see if we can use that rhyme to properly foil out y plus 3 squared. So if we do square the first, what will we get? y squared. Square the last would be 9. Multiply together would be 3y. And double up fast gives us 6y. The reason that I think it's important that you try and learn that pattern is because we're going to have to be going back and forth with that pattern. And the more comfortable you are, it'll just be easier for you. With that in mind, let's go ahead and replace each part of the equation of the circle that we had before with the foiled out version. So we're going to have x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared plus 6y plus 9 equals 9. Now, to get the general form, we need 0 on one side, and we combine like terms, and we also put the squared terms first, then the linear terms, then the constant terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write x squared plus y squared, then I'm going to take the negative 4x and the positive 6y, then I'm going to put the 4 and the 9 together, that's 13, but subtracting 9, that brings me back down to 4. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y plus 4 equals 0. This is the general form of the equation of the circle. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.